Come around, we're standing in front of an area that we crushed or we removed salt by cracking uh, just a few weeks ago. And uh, we're looking at this again. Now, uh, tell me about some of the changes you've noticed between the last time we were here and today. And we've yeah. actually noticed an increase Let's in the, the slosh line yeah. area here yeah. along the beach. The she has a greater amount of nice sand that's usable and functioning for her property. Uh, the water, as we get uh, tidal action or wave action coming in, is pushing her zebra shell, mussel shells further back on her beach, but as those are crushed, you see that we've got a much nicer line of sand here, there's greater delineation. That is actually going to start coming further back where she has her breakwater here. We'll be creating little tidal pools mm -hmm. for fresh water, crustaceans, and, and flora that is actually good for our birds and our fish in the area. So we're actually taking an area that's not usable and it should be creating a nice environment for those animals. So rather, instead of just removing the shells, we actually may be seeing a restoration of a type of environment. That would be what I would predict, yes. Well, stay tuned for more. We're going to continue to monitor this beach and bring you periodic updates.